Hi, so this is Dr. Priya Selamedi, Assistant Professor in Data Science. In this video, I am going to give you a simple strategy that can be followed during your self-introduction in the job interview. I hope after watching this video, you will definitely gain ideas on how to introduce yourself. But keep in mind, your first impression is always the best. On an average, your self-introduction should last between 45 seconds to one and a half minutes. Now I am going to tell you, uh, tell me about your self strategy that comprises nine steps. Step number one, start your self introduction with a formal greeting. For example, good morning, sir, or good morning, madam. If you wish, you can even say good morning, sir. Thanks for this opportunity. Step number two, tell your name like my name is Priya or I am Priya. So don't say this is Priya or myself Priya. And one more thing, if the interviewer has already said, hi Priya, introduce yourself. In that case, you start with a formal greeting, leave your name and then mention your location. Step number three, tell your residence. For example, either you can say like I am from Trichy or I am from the renowned Rockford city, Trichy. Definitely, this will grab the attention of the interviewer. Step number four. Since you are a fresher, talk about your educational qualifications. Mention the degree at present you are pursuing, the educational institution and then the CGPA. If your CGPA is not good, ignore mentioning it. Step number five, you can talk about the project or internship undertaken. Try to correlate it to the job you are applying for it. Uh, mention the name of the project, the company in which you have done your project, the nature of the work, the technology you learned to that project and so on. Step number six, additional qualifications. Mention about the additional qualifications or skills you acquired to expand your knowledge like certificate courses that you have undergone related to academics, short term courses to improve your language proficiency. It gives an impression to the selection panel that you have acquired these additional qualifications by exerting yourself additionally though not mandatory. But always hold some proof to prove your claim. Step number seven, adjectives to describe yourself. For example, I am a flexible and uh, resourceful person. Even when things change at the 11th hour, I am able to adjust accordingly and complete the work before the deadline. So in this way, you can use a lot of objectives to describe yourself very well. Step number eight, feel free to talk about your hobbies, passions, strengths, weakness. So this eighth step elaborates your whole personality. Align your passion according to the company's goals. This is really imperative, isn't it? Step number eight, nine. Finally, summarize. Describe some points on how well you fit in the job. So this is really a crucial step, but often a missed out step. Briefly explain why this job is important for you so as to attain your future goals at the same time benefiting the company too. After the summarization, you should make the interviewer to feel that you would be an asset to their organization. And then finally conclude. Like, thank you. That's all about me. Let us see an example on self-introduction in a data science interview. As I have told you already, your self-introduction part shouldn't exceed one and a half minutes. Now, I'm assuming myself as a student and I'm going to introduce myself to the interviewer. Let us start the timer. Good morning, sir. Thank you for this great opportunity. I'm Priya. 
am from the renowned Rockford city, Trichy. I am currently pursuing my master's degree in data science at St. Joseph's College, Autonomous, Trichy. I did my undergraduate B.Sc. Mathematics in Holy Cross College, Trichy. I secured a CGPA of 9.1. I have also completed my two-month internship in the Sparks Foundation. So during my internship, I have explored several data sets and deployed many useful machine learning algorithms to solve the problems. I am familiar with Python and R programming. I have done many online courses in Coursera and NPTEL such as Introduction to Data Science, R Programming, Big Data Analytics, etc. to expand my knowledge and expertise in data science. I am a flexible and resourceful person with good communication skills. My hobbies are reading books and storytelling. I am passionate about looking at problems from different perspectives and providing the optimal solution to any problem. I am an ideal candidate for this job and want to be a part of your company to further develop myself in the data science field and serve this great company. Thanks. That's all about me. I think I can give a thumbs up. I have completed within one and a half minutes. So, join uh, all the key points I have mentioned in this video and attend your job interview. All the best.